Good day, people of the internet. My name is Arshog, and this is Guild Wars 2 Basics. And today we're going to be talking about leveling, progression, and... What was it? And game progression. So, to start off, I'm going to insert a clip right now of me earning the personal story when you hit level 10. Uh, so that's going to be rolling right now. So, we're going to pop this character to level 10 to unlock personal story, and then we'll see what that looks like, so... So, there we go. Once you hit level 10 and you unlock personal story, that big envelope will pop up. Then you can see it. And this is what it looks like in your mail. It'll have a green star and it will lead you on to your next story. Then your content company, compass turns into the personal story. Oh, there's the messenger. And it points you towards the story. That sounds like a guy coming to kill me. Yep, I'm good. Okay, so we're going to head back to town. And I'll show you the level up rewards right now as well. So, every time you level up, you gain one of these little diamonds with wings on it. Oop, cake. Opening this up, I have had two of these stored, so leveling, level 9. You get these crafting items, some gathering tools, and bank. So then you can click on these for information. Then you can also look at the next level up. Yay! So I'm just gonna... Oh, I get all of them. Nice. Then level 10, you get the attribute. It tells you what attributes are um, increased every time you level up. If attributes are, attributes are increased. Uh, you get the story instance unlocked here. Skills, vistas. You can look at the next one. Oh, and you can also press this arrow in the corner to hide it. You can look at your story, I think. Yeah, you can look at your story. It goes up here. And I already showed a bit of the story. That's just how you progress the story part of it. I think that's it on this character. And time to cut back to the other footage. And that's how you earn the personal story. Every 10 levels, you will gain a new step. So, continuing on to that. To progress through leveling up. There's multiple ways. There's going through your story. To level up, that is good experience. There's crafting. Is a good way to level up. As well as map completion. To progress your character, you can do it by running in achievements. By doing achievements. Various things. Um, crafting. And exploring the land. Yeah, kind of self-explanatory there. To increase your crafting, you need to craft items, but you might not always have the materials needed, so it's good to go on crafting runs, where you pick out the zone, and then you kind of go along in a path, collecting all the materials, and then you'll just kind of loop back and forth, keep on doing it until you have the materials needed. Then once you have all the materials, you might want to go on a crafting spree, which is, you gather after you gather up all the materials... You go to a crafting station, you pop a crafting booster, and then you just go craft everything possible and get the most experience out of it. Now, to go along with story, to progress story in the game, there's different levels of story. There is the personal story, which is how you start out. From every 10 levels, you'll get it. There is the dungeon stories, which is a, a story associated with each dungeon in the world. Uh, living story, there is, where when you hit level 80, you can start doing the living story, which has achievements associated with it. And then there is the story in the explorable world, so that'd be like hearing the story of the people over here in Gendaran fields with their troubles with centaurs or pirates or whatnot. And the personal story and dungeon story are kind of intertwined. Where you'll be doing stuff in your personal story with certain characters, and then at the same time there will be stuff happening with dungeon characters. Uh, when you level up, you'll eventually get too powerful for an area, so like in Queensdale it's 1 to 15. And since the personal story doesn't come every single level anymore, once you hit 15 and if you've finished your personal story already, you might not know where to go. So when that happens, you just head to the next map that has a higher level, so... From Queensdale, you head over here to Kessex Hills, which is 15 to 25, or Brisbane Wildlands 25, 15 to 25. 
those would be the neighboring areas, but you can go across the world into areas that are attached to other people's starter zones, like Snowden Drifts or Diesa Plateau. So as you level up, you just keep on wanting to do that, and then when your personal story gets to that point in level, then you can come back and then do that stuff and just keep on progressing. The last thing to mention, actually, is a feature I didn't know was in-game, where if you're curious about something like... If you're just curious about something, you can do slash wiki and then space and then whatever it is, it'll pull up the wiki in your browser. So if I do slash wiki black cow, it'll take me over here to the wiki page and then it'll show me what I've just searched. Do be aware you need to have the capitals in the appropriate areas or else it will not be able to search it. Yeah, certain searches will have it that you cannot... It will just not bring you to the page directly. It'll just bring you to the search bar. really felt like I had more to say. So that's it for this episode of Guild Wars 2 Basics. Join me next time when I go over options and hints. Um, I'm just going to be showing you what every single option does and then my preferences towards it. And then if I can find the hint panel, I'll also show you that. But until then, hit like, comment, subscribe, hit me up in the Twitters and the comment section below, and have a day.